Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. Uh, we've got another Founders beer to uh, do a review with you today. This is what's called their Pale Ale. Um, big bold letters into the top, dry hopped. So if you look on the website, it's just their Pale Ale. Um, this beer is 5.4% alcohol and IBUs of 35. Looks just exactly the way I think a Pale Ale should look. A little bit of a golden color. Slight caramel color, nice carbonation, perfect head on top, um, pours nice, smells instantly of hops when you first pour it. Um, really cool label, by the way. I'm big into marketing. If you've watched my other videos, it's got like uh, like grain and this this chick, this woman with flowers and like this uh, I don't know what you call almost kimono thing on it. I don't know if you can see it in the uh, camera real clear. It's really cool. I didn't know what it was at first. I just stare at it, but it's it's um it's a pretty cool label. I like it a lot. Um, so um, this beer to me is what you call your classic pale ale. Uh, not too hoppy. I use a thirty-five alcohol content right down the middle of the road, five point four percent. Eleven dollars a six pack. Um, they describe it as a testament to Cascade hops in a bottle. Medium body pale ale, which it is. Uh, a distinctive citrus flavor and a distinctive floral hoppy aroma due to the aggressive addition of hops during fermentation. You'll notice a slightly malty sweetness, hence the uh, coloring I just told you about, with a balanced hop finish. Perfect to enjoy anytime or anywhere. I'm a big hop fan. I like hoppy beers. I like pale ales a lot. They're my favorite blend of beer. Um, this one I've never had before. This one is what I call exactly what a pale ale should be brewed like. So, if you like pale ales, you'll like this beer. If you like hoppy beers, you will like this beer. Um, it is more to me on the floral side than the citrusy side. I don't like a lot of floral. Um, I don't like a lot of uh, uh, flowery undertones. Um, it's not overpowering, but if you like more citrusy, you might give it a lower rating than I do. If you like more citrusy, um, God, I can give you all kinds of different uh, uh, suggestions for that. But anyway, um, it's a very balanced beer. It is medium bodied. It tastes real good in your mouth. It's got good flavor to it. Um, smells awesome. The citrus floral aroma with the hops. This is one of the best, better smelling pale ales I've opened in a while. Um, I like it a lot. I would buy it again. I personally, um, I, I, we've done a, a review recently of their um, all-day session <laughs> ale. Um, I like that better than this with Founders. Um, there are other pale ales I like better, but this one is uh, definitely, I'd say, within the top ten. Um, I would buy it again. I'm going to trade this beer with several people and get their a take on it. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever tried it. So if you've tried the uh, Founders Pale Ale, let me know what you think, please. There, there is a uh, founders does some limiting uh, distribution, so it might not be available uh, for everybody. But as far as I can tell, um, this is widely distributed. Um, I like it. I would probably give this about a three and a half, only because there are other pale ales that I like a little bit better, and there are other founders beers that I like better. But let me repeat myself, which I'm not a fan of, but it's worth doing. I would buy it again. I'm glad I bought it. I'm definitely going to trade it. And I typically don't trade beers unless I like them. Um, and most importantly, I think if you like pale ales or if you want to try a pale ale, let's say you like lagers or maybe, maybe Belgian whites or something a little, little, more, a little more mellow, um, try this beer because you're only looking at IBUs of 35. So fairly low. Um, and you, I have a feeling this is this would be a good transition beer for those people that aren't used to the pale ale flavor. So, um, I like it. That's it. Three and a half. Good beer. Worth the money. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and our website. Uh, the website's got a lot of pictures and a lot of, a lot of cool stuff on there. And uh, we're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. Uh, Twitter. You name it. We're around. And uh, we appreciate you watching. And we'll look forward to uh, seeing you again here real soon. Cheers.